guys, welcome to part two of the video. Um, it uh, is PC Tools Internet Security is now active and and continuously blocking stuff. Um, and yeah, I wish it would remove stuff in real time, but there's less of a chance of a crash. Um, PC Tools Internet Security will often remove at, at preboot, and that's fine with me. I just wanted to identify something, and next time I reboot, it's toast. So, anyway, uh, the application popped up here. I'm still getting some things ready. Uh, my firewall is not turned on yet, because I had to apply some update. Got four buttons here basically anti spyware, antivirus, anti spam, and then firewall. It's restarting the product. And I really do have high hopes for this product because I like, I love their. Uh, Spyware Doctor with antivirus. But as you remember, Spyware Doctor with antivirus was one of my first reviews, and I didn't have nearly the amount of malware on the box that I do now. So I'm hoping they still kind of hold up to uh, hold up to um, that high level that they had earlier, where it just cleaned off everything. And I'm going to pause the video real quick. I'll be right back. All right, guys. Um, I'm going to have to break this review up a little bit. I'll have to record now and later tonight because we just had guests come over. So, um, Got PC Tools, Internet Security open here. I'm going to go to uh, Settings and kind of set up some uh, some preferences. I'm going to tell IntelliGuard to detect potentially unwanted products. And then down here I'll hit apply. Um, the history on the history tab right here shows me a list of things that are going on in this uh, computer. I'm guessing that's the Q host infection right there. Uh, schedule tasks, you can schedule a full scan or an intelli scan of your computer, schedule updates at certain times. You can go in here, take a look at your quarantine, go into our anti-malware settings and scan for rootkits. Uh, I'll go ahead and create a restore point before I do any removal, that's always a good idea. Keep in mind that those uh, restore points are usually infected though, <coughs> but it's always a good idea to have a, a restore point if you can create one. I'll tell it to scan archives. I usually turn that off uh, after, <coughs> excuse me, after um, I do a full scan. Um, PC Tools Secure Community is on. Uh, the Secure Secure uh, Community. It's let's see what it says. I don't think I've ever read it. It says PC Tools Secure Community is a community of internet users who have chosen to report potential malware to PC Tools. Uh, if we enable this, you help us discover more threats, blah, blah, blah. Uh, participation is optional. I guess we're uploading st stats to them, basically. Scan mode, where you're doing a normal scan mode. Heretics is just on, basically. Anti-spam, I'm not really going to cover that. I don't really care about that stuff here. <clears throat> but that's good though. I, I should say the anti-spam, that is a nice feature of buying the suite. If you are using Outlook or Outlook Express or Windows Mail or Vista Mail, whatever the hell it's called, um, it's always nice to have a spam, a decent spam filter, and I'm sure this one is. Under the firewall settings, I haven't actually looked at any of this stuff yet. <coughs> Uh, 
hang on. Let me pause it. Can't wait to get rid of this 2009 stuff. Okay, uh, back to this applications part here. Um, I can see that's a fake program, so I'm going to go ahead and block access to that program. And the rest of them I'll just leave alone for now. Uh, advanced firewall rules. I'm not really messing with any of that stuff right now. Activity kind of shows me what's active at this point. Again, I'm not really touching any of it right now. Uh, what we're going to do is, what I like to do with applications, when, when I'm doing re tests or reviews of my own, I like to kind of break down the malware slowly. Um, it helps me kind of work through the review a little bit easier. So what I'm going to do is, instead of doing a full scan, I'm going to do a quick IntelliScan, that's what they call it. And right now, just on this quick scan, what the what the IntelliScan does is it scans the most likely spots that malware usually hides, and it'll also scan the registry, it'll scan uh, memory objects, and it just allows you to kind of um, quickly scan the computer to look for anything really, really bad. I guess that's a easy way to say it. So as soon as the scan's done, I'll come back. And um, we'll see what it uh, found. Oh, it's actually done now. Okay, great. So you can see it's found a lot of stuff here. 58 threats and 1,351 infections. I'll go ahead and uh, hit Fix Checked. It's going to create a restore point. It's taking a little while to process though, so as soon as it's done, um, we'll be right back. I'll actually create the uh, third part of the video. Be right back.